Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to another video about using DaVinci Resolve as your editor. In today's video, I want to compare the plugin Flickr Free with the built-in application in DaVinci Resolve and find out which of the two applications is best to remove Flickr from your time-lapse video. So let's get right to it. Let's go to the edit suite. Okay, and here we are back in DaVinci Resolve, and um, today we're just going to have a look at this clip here, which is a time-lapse um, stop-motion animation thing, which is pretty flickery, as you can see. And I want to find out which is the best way of fixing this issue, either by using uh, DaVinci Resolve's uh, Flickr reduction tool, or uh, the a more expensive tool, the Flickr Free, uh, which I've done a video on previously. So let's figure that out. First off, let's just um, take this clip, push the old button, and then just duplicate that. So we have two versions. Um, so there's actually two ways of applying effects in DaVinci Resolve. You can do it uh, directly here from your, uh, your editor by going to the effects library, and then let's see if we can find effects we want. Uh, let's see here, time-lapse deflicker. And we'll just drag that on. And then we can go and change that up here in the inspector by clicking the open FX. And then uh, here we can select our area. And I think we'll just do the entire frame. And instead of four, I think we should go be around three or something like that. So as you see already now, we can then also toggle off the effect right here and toggle on. And you can see that's already uh, better. So uh, let's try to do the same effect but using Flickr Free. And then of course we can do this also in the color tab. So by going to the color tab, we have all our effects here, and we can then scroll down and take our Flickr Free plugin here by Digital Anarchy, and then just drag that on. And it's already on time lapse, and actually I think it will be just fine like this. Um, so no reason to change anything here actually. So and here um, we'll see that that's also pretty good. Um, so, again, I think it's, um, I mean, if you have DaVinci Resolve, you might as well use that, uh, even though the Flickr Free is a bit, little bit better, but not that much, actually, I think. So, anyway, this was just a short uh, video test, so hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends, if you think they'll find it helpful. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.